What are you looking at? I just always act as if I have no idea where we are until the video starts, as if I don't exist. That's very good. Hey guys, Crew Blonde Way back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Calvin. And we are here with Cyberpunk Edge Runners, a show we have been hearing about for a long time. A lot. Much requested. Yes. By a studio that I absolutely love. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. I don't know if you guys know. Trigger. Trigger? Girl I know Trigger. God. You you do love Trigger oh. quite quite a lot. We all love Girl and God. We do. All of us. But you we have no idea how God. much my hype just soared. Into the heavens! Ah. Oh, I'm so happy. I, uh, I, this is based off a video game. It is based off a tabletop role-playing game system. Okay. Which has a video game. Okay. And I believe this is kind of based on the video game adaptation. Okay. Maybe. I actually don't know. Sure. Now, I want to be able to, like, bring all this baggage with that, but we recently watched a show called Arcane, and it, like, had no baggage. It was amazing. And I, I've heard people be like, hey, Eric, if you like Arcane, you might like something like this. I'm like, okay, I'm in. I'm here for it. Hope yeah. so. I think we've had a pretty good stretch recently. There's just been some good Witcher stuff. Agreed. Some good Castlevania stuff. Agreed, Cuphead yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So. Who was the first to break the curse, you would say? I mean, Super Mario Brothers Super Show had that rap. With Mario Brothers. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think he's right. Okay. Huh. Really? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. I mean, it certainly broke some curse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we were going to be checking this out. We also want to let people know that, hey, if you like video games and stuff that surrounds video games, we're actually going to be launching a whole brand new channel called Blind Wave Gaming at the beginning of the month. And we're going to be moving all of our current gaming stuff that we have on the channel over there, but also we're going to be doing some fun, new, excited things over there, too. So go check it out, please, if you uh, if you want, if you're interested in that type of thing. But we also want, if you're not interested... Don't. That way you can enjoy the reactions as you do. And I don't need to have the gaming stuff. We're just trying to make it easier for everybody to find the things that they want to see more of. So, Indeed. Anyway, uh, speaking of that, though, if you want to see more Edge Runner reaction, this is the first episode yes. of a new uh, season. What does that mean? It means that full length, which is something that is normally available to our patrons, where you can watch the entire reaction along with us, needing your own footage. Uh, this... First time, it's available to everyone. You just go down in the description, mm. you click on the link there or in the pinned comment below. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, I have no frame of reference for anything cyberpunk other than I went to E3 and yeah. we got shown a special cyberpunk yeah. demo of how amazing that game was going to be and work. Yep. And then I've since heard that there were some issues. Some technical there were some issues. Yeah. It was a little disappointing yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. But we watched the trailer for this, didn't we? Did we watch the trailer? I watched the trailer. I don't know, that trailer is pretty good. I don't remember. I don't remember watching a trailer, but it could Might have been be. on podcast when we watched the trailer for... It could have been on podcast <laughs> where you guys' <laughs> memories just evaporate. Yeah. It's I'm like usually, its own world. I'm usually pretty good. I got one, <laughs> one thing where I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think we watched a trailer for this. We could have. Maybe I don't not. know. Why would I make a definitive statement that I could be wrong? That's all right. We're watching it now. We are. In Netflix. Whoa. You think the police tape is cool. What the hell are you doing? Back it up. Looking to get shot? Sheesh. We're getting Ghost in the Shell vibe. Damn, I should have a ponytail. This guy has a metal beard. I feel like this guy is me if I took the Bane serum. <laughs> <laughs> you have metal bones? I don't know if I had Bane serum, maybe. You don't know. So he wasn't OP oh enough already. Gosh, dude, no. that's how Clark Kent runs in Smallville. Dude, gorgeous. Holy shit! What? Cut the shit, man! You can, um... Cut to? Download other people's experiences oh, in your brain. Oh, that's handy. Name is Gloria. Uh, it's encrypted. She lifted the... the tech. Big fish? Mm. Koi. Ninfish. Oh. Kind of Blade Runner-ish, huh? 
Huh? Counting on you, Doc. Oh no. Oh, nah, this isn't compatible. <laughs> no! You imagine your shit sucks so much it ruins everybody else's shit? <laughs> You've got this deep. You're my son. Yeah, well, easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, big gun. Jesus! You should not have stolen that chip. Oh my god! He is a really bad aim. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't aiming at them. Luckily, <laughs> or unluckily, depending on who's at ease. Point blank range missing. Sheesh. Ah, uh, brakes, woman. Insurance just for those certain what? people? Yep. Yeah. What the hell? Hey! Oh, that then is it okay doctor doesn't have a shirt on. No can do, buddy. Visitation ain't part of your I bed. think it's just Oh, right. Hey, I should get started on the I want to go to the hospital his suit where he doesn't have a shirt. You know, he has no shirt now. I think he got three days. His skin probably isn't even yeah. real though. That's the reason everyone in Night City no has shirt. insurance. Stay safe now. Yeah, I go to the hospital. The doctor has a, doesn't have a shirt on. I, I got this isn't in my network. You lowballing me, huh? Fuck. What? No notice or anything? His mom might have gotten it. Just oh, you're right. She saved so much. Doc, hey, you get the still I sent? No. Listen, That's the stuff that she took. You were kicking the nuts for that shoddy bootleg. Maybe put that shit in yourself. Right. Just don't get Doc to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, since we're chatting, I've just always wondered, how could she afford to send you to Arasaka Academy anyway? Care to explain? Martinez? Yep, time to be some ass. <laughs> Go on, tell us. How does mommy pay your way? <clears throat> Alright, come on, that's a song. Come on! Enhancements. Got anything slotted? MMA freeware, maybe? <laughs> Damn, we got the Bruce Lee program going. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I'm supposed to tell you we offer some burial options. Oh, People my God. In the city want corpo gigs for a reason, kid. Greetings, value customer. Kids would read a little bit of socialism. A little bit. <laughs> Fuck, man! It dispensed it like a vending machine? It didn't get stuck and he has to bang on it. Oh my god. I would find a way to murder him. I need to put a nuke in my back. <laughs> oh my god, I want him dead so much. I'm bloodthirsty. You know this doc? Who is that? I'm not here to sell. I want this fused here. High time I crumb the fuck up. Oh shit! What a cool title. First episode! What do you guys think? Just as dark, brutal, and dystopian as I expected. It was. <laughs> but it built a world in like 20 minutes that I instantly reacted to. Yeah. <laughs> and a character that I immediately oh, yeah. want to do the worst thing oh, sure. to the people around him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, any novel, chapter one, make everybody feel as bad for the main character as possible so you sympathize, right? Yeah, they did. Seeing his ashes come out of a vending, those ashes come out of a vending machine, fucked me up. <laughs> that was crazy, but so imaginative. Every cyberpunk thing starts with Blade Runner. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it has to. Uh, there's a lot of ghosts in the show in this as well. Mm -hmm. but, I see yeah. that. There are definitely little 
like unique touches here and there. Yeah. Like it's uh it, it has dark or palettes, but there's also brightness. Here oh too. yeah, sure. Oh, very bright yeah. colors. I love that. I love the just extreme contrast and like almost black purple and then like neon yellow and green next yeah. to it. Yeah, future's pretty fucked. I mean, that's the thing. You got the money. It's a utopia. Yeah. But we haven't seen anybody with a lot of money. Like, a lot, a lot of money. We've seen the privilege, sure, but... Yeah, we're, just those we're students that kicked his ass. Yeah. And it's so visceral, too, because, you know, you watch anything else, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to fucking hit that kid with a rock, you know? I'm like, there's nothing you can do about it, but there's something you can do about it. He's got... He's bought superpowers. Yeah, like, even things that you could have now if you're poor, you yeah. know, like... It, it's still harder, but, yeah. you know, a lot of the greatest boxers come from very poor circumstances, mm -hmm. right? Because, sure. like, you put in the work, you put in the time, like, you can achieve it. Yeah, yeah. But here, you can just pay for body upgrades and, yeah. like, and, pay for the skills. And, you know, like, we luckily, or we should be living in a world where, like, your house is on fire, someone comes and puts it out. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to be subscribed to the fire department. I mean, that happens be, here, yeah. like in our world, too, Yeah, yeah. sometimes. It's, yeah, you're not... <laughs> it's nice when it doesn't happen like yeah. that. But seeing those guys come, like, they're not policy holders, and just leave people on the ground, and then she eventually dies because of it. Yep. And it was all because of some type of... They just were in the wrong place on the highway, and she wouldn't hit the brake. Yeah. Yeah, there was just people <laughs> shooting up on the highway. I know. Like, that gun would just happen to be behind, like, her head. And I was like, why is there a big giant gun in the back? I'm like, what's happening? At first, yeah, I thought they were after the stuff she stole. Yeah. yeah. It was just coincidence. Which, yeah, uh, like, in this world, for sale are, like, people's experiences. And, yeah. like, you know, it could be a sexual thing. It can be you buy people who died. Like, that's a real experience death. I mean, that's really cool. Like any awesome technology, it would probably need to be first funded by porn. Yeah. At yeah. the very least, right? Like, think about how amazing, like, video streaming has come, even in our lifetime. That's porn. Porn did that, and we got scraps. Uh, but think about, cool. I'm just thinking about all the different, like, other different things. Augmented like reality and VR yeah. and stuff. And porn as well. Sure. <laughs> It wasn't utilized super well, but it was one of the more interesting parts in the video game where you could do this kind of thing. Yeah. And you could, like, try to figure out, you know, key codes for things. That's pretty cool. Or, or like, try to use it to investigate to What would be, puzzles. like, experiences? Like, the thing is, is, like, I hate the idea. This is going to sound really weird. Uh, the guy that I'm experiencing is being hunted by, like, people, right? Terrifying. But would be an interesting experience to feel... But while you're safe, you know, yeah. but someone has to go out there and record that experience. So that's where you're like, ah, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like fiction. Yeah. Right? Like fiction is a way for you, for your mind to test out things. Sure. And like prepare yourself. Right? Yeah. Like you can grieve on a show that's not real. Yeah. But you still feel a lesser version of those emotions. Agreed. But you also always have this thing in the back of your head where like, this isn't real. Like, this is an actor, this is makeup, this is effects. Whereas that thing is someone's experience, right? Yeah. In a way? Usually, I mean, they could, yes. be, they could be fake. Like, it could be fake. Yeah. Like, but... not everybody's having, you know, robotic menage a trois. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. But one guy is. So, no, I get you. So when they experience those things, is it is it merely a visual thing? Or do they experience emotion? Do they experience... Yeah, you feel what that person gotcha. felt. Gotcha, okay. Like, there are different levels of them okay. that you can get. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, like, you can get it to where, hmm. like, you know, their thoughts, their feelings. Yeah. Like, all that stuff can be recorded and transferred. That'd be a hell of a reaction channel. Yeah. They're sitting there, <laughs> <laughs> A lot of this stuff is taken to the extreme, but, like, having to have a subscription service for your education... Like in colleges, especially, like you got to buy oh, the yeah. new book every year. Like it's you got to just... have the license for the the program, the like the studying aid, yep. stuff like that. Yeah, put yourself in debt for thirty years. Yeah, it's yeah. like there's no real changes to this book, but yeah. you can't take the class if you don't have the newest version. Sure, because that's the way it works, you know. So, so cyberpunk is taking place in a future America. Like, is there like what's Ohio look like right now? 
<laughs> like if I go to my dad's farm right now, is it relatively the same or like? I mean, he's got to subscribe to some shit, you know, for Monsanto's. Like you can't use that seed. Can we own that seed? I'm not sure. In the game, it takes place in Night City. Night and City. That's like just the one place. Okay. So it's an urban environment. You don't really yeah go out to the farmlands. Yeah. I know this is a form of my own privilege too, of having lived in the country. But I always, whenever I see people with situations like this, I'm just like, motherfucker, you just gotta move to the country. You're, you'll be fine out there. There won't be any of this shit. You know, you have to deal with some territorial coyotes, maybe. But you gotta go, gotta go somewhere, <laughs> right? Uh, but I feel so bad for him, man. Like, obviously, the mom's going through, was doing something nefarious. I'm not really sure what. Uh, well, she was a. Uh, Pretty much an ambulance driver, She was right? an EMT. So she's just grabbing shit? Like, I think to, so. To pay for yeah. stuff? Okay. It's not that yeah. she's part of some, like, underground clandestine thing. She was just picking up spare parts. I believe that's the case. That's even sadder <laughs> to my initial thoughts. Yeah. Because she did have that one call, but that was probably someone just trying to sell. Yeah, it's like, it's it. illegal, but they're already dead. You know, like, she's in a desperate situation, trying to make a better life for her son. Yeah. Yeah. No, Which makes me think that's crazy. Maybe somebody did know, and we just guessed the wrong time at which they were going to strike. We thought they were going to shoot at her on the highway, mm-hmm. but what if they actually got to her in the hospital? Well, if that was the case, I figured they would rip her memories and have gone to the apartment to get the thing. Damn. Maybe. Damn. Rip your memories. <laughs> it does have it does have that kind of feeling of like Black Mirror of like, hey. Just keep a lookout for shit that's going coming out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, okay. Very uh, violent. Like I had seen the trailer, so yeah. I've seen some of these scenes here okay. before. But you have people cutting in half, exploding. Like when people's bodies can be superhuman, yeah. the amount of force it takes to take someone down just yeah. explodes people. I mean, and we get that a lot in the Ghost in the Shell movie, especially. Sure. Well. Yeah. And I mean, you know, you got Studio Trigger, which. At the very least, I know when I watch one of their productions, I'm not going to ever see, like, corners cut, and they don't <laughs> cut corners. It just looks amazing. Yeah. The yeah. color's amazing. The, the the soundtrack is great. Yeah, the whole show just has a vibe. It does. I feel like like everything feels consistent. It's like, and it, it kind of put, puts you in that world, too, because it's like, you know, I don't want to say the words, like, too much, but, like, there's a lot of music, and there's a lot of color, there's a lot of stimulus, and that instantly puts you in what David, I think, is his name, right? David's... D. D, yeah. Yeah, David. Mm-hmm. But that instantly puts you in his head of like, there's so much going on, it's going to be hard, or it's going to be easy to miss details, you know? Yeah. And that's how I kind of feel watching it, but there's, there's something exciting about that, too. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, now, you know, we have screens on us all the time. Yeah. Like, you're always looking at them, watching them, mm-hmm. and like, we are overstimulated, I think, or we easily get that way. Definitely. But, like, in a world where the, the screen's in your brain. Yeah. And like, you can have anything you can live these other experiences like you have to keep going more and more extreme for it to have the same effect right yeah like stimulus works like like a drug it does like when i'm when i have my phone and i see a clickbait thumbnail or title or you know one of those times like you press you know you go to a web page and then an ad pops up and then there's an x here and you go to click the x but the ad moves yeah and then you've clicked the ad like fuck you know <laughs> when that happens you feel like ah you're trying to get me but if that was happening in my brain i would feel like you're taking control of me yeah like you, you can't got, do that that's mine you got software in your body and like if you're not paying for the pre- premium version you're just getting ads in your brain <sighs> you know damn that's what no. Elon Musk wants to do <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, the Neuralink. Neuralink. That stuff's exciting and scary. Yeah, <laughs> especially when men like him are like choosing sure. what development I path you. to take. You know, like using you, you use the perfect thing. Men like him. Like I need motherfuckers like that, like looking at Mars and be like, we can get there. You know, like sure. You yeah. need like that cutthroat business, like. Hey, do you think you've gone too far? It's like, no, motherfucker, we're going to Mars. Like, look that way. Like, no one don't was look, no one was like, hey, you don't know look what, in here. You know what problem you need to solve? Twitter. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I need Elon Mars and men, uh, Elon Mars, Elon Musk, <laughs> and men like him doing certain things. And then I won't be scared about what when I go on a yeah. Twitter, you know? He should change his name. He should. Elon Mars. I would, yeah. If, if he ever gets there, he has permission yeah. from me. <laughs> 
Like, you know, there are people throughout all of human history, like, look, they're not great people, but if we can just focus on them on certain tasks that crazy people, ex- you know, excel at. <laughs> yeah. Like, motherfuckers, I was getting canoes and just go across the ocean looking for shit, you know? I would never do that. No. I need crazy people to do that. Like Elon Musk. <sighs> yeah, I wonder where D goes from here. Does he, like, like start taking mercenary-style jobs? Yeah. Or, like, illegal stuff, and does he start to like like what's his line now and does that line drift sure okay yeah you know i was gonna like is there anything special about the actual stuff that he has is it exceptionally exceptionally good stuff i mean they said it's military grade stuff military grade yeah like that's gonna be better than some kind of like prototype yeah thing that was like stolen from a lab sure so he got like in-game loot you know but he's level one yeah he got epic yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, really so good like, luck. He should get boxes. a pretty big level up here. Mm. I'm both excited to start the show and pessimistic about our country's future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. We, we got to balance this out with, like, Dr. Stone. We do. We definitely do. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm excited for more, and I'm sad that I can't watch them right now. You can yeah. over at patreon.com slash blindwave, where you can watch up to four episodes early access right now, along with full length. Yeah. So make sure you check out patreon.com slash blindwave and also the link down in the description. Check out all those links down there, actually. Twitch.tv slash blindwave, where we game stream all the time. 